my beautiful Christmas bulb minnow trap. Come on, Skeet. Come on, bud. Here. This is where he lies. Welcome back to another episode of Bass Bros. It is 55 and raining, December 26th, because Michigan is a southern state. Let's make this basketball shot. Oh, I'm gonna break the car. Sorry, Mom. The first thing I wanna show you guys is that I actually caught another muskie. So let's roll that clip. Oh, I'm gonna break the GoPro. Anyways, muskie. That's fish. Yep. That's fish. Yep, that's fish. Muskie, come on, bud. Come here. Yep. Oh my gosh, guys, let's go. Woo. Come here. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh, don't come off. Come here. Right under the bridge, guys. Let's go. Come on. Yep. Woo. Oh my gosh. I'm the big old Poseidon. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh, that's good. It's good. Yeah. Alright guys, my second muskie ever. Beautiful, beautiful fish right there. Absolutely love to see it. Did not expect to catch one today, but crushed the Poseidon. Absolutely beautiful fish. These are just beasts of a fish. And I love to see it, dude. Oh my gosh, I am shaking. That is for sure. All right, guys. I'm gonna let this beast of a fish go. Not as big as my first one, but I'll definitely take her. Off she goes. Whew. Let's go. Dude, that is awesome. You guys remember that uh, Christmas bulb that we bought in the previous minnow trap video? My name is Jeff. Well, it was on my TikTok, but I'm also gonna show you guys how that went right now. that was, I low-key thought that was in. So remember this Christmas bulb I bought in the last video? We're gonna turn it into a minnow trap today. So first off, we got the lid of a water bottle, which is most important, so we have a way for the fish to come in and out. Let's trace this thing. That was pretty bad. Anyways, whatever. I don't know who's giving me power tools, but safety first. There we go. Ah, oh, would you look at that. Absolutely perfect. Now we grab some nice little zip ties. Zip tie this thing on there. Okay, that is absolutely looking beautiful. But my only concern is that anytime a trap is not clear, the fish will never go in there. So I have to make like a ton of slits down the middle to make this thing more visible. Okay. Now we have a bunch of slits in this middle trap to make it more uh, visible for these fish. We're gonna cover these slits with some clear tape so that they obviously can't swim in and out of these slits. And here we have it, my beautiful Christmas bulb minnow trap. My name is Jeff. Let's take it to the creek. At the creek here, it's time to put this thing in. I have a feeling it's gonna float. For bait, we just got some dog food from the dog that I don't have. Okay, as expected, it does not sink. So I gotta put some rocks in it. All right, we got some rocks. Down she goes. Okay, that's low key like in the perfect position. So we're gonna leave it for a few hours and come see if this freaking bulb caught some fish. I am back. I have let this thing soak all day. We're gonna check it. It's now like sunset. Oh my gosh, there's a fish. Dude, that actually freaking worked. All right, let's cut this thing open. Let's get Buddy out of there. I'm coming for you, man. I'm coming for you. Ugh. No way. There is one lone fish in there. Yeah, that's the only fish in there, but it actually works, guys. We caught a little tiny creek chub. Oh. Don't flop, bud. You're gonna go on the rocks. You don't wanna do that. You don't wanna do that. Anyways, there is little buddy right there. A tiny little creek chub. But the ornament minnow trap actually worked. Let's go. All right, see you later, man. Okay, I actually had zero hope in this thing, but we actually caught a fish, so let's go. Now next up, I have some very, very sad news that I had to share with you guys. It happened a little bit ago, but I finally am gonna show you guys what happened. Okay, I'm so bad at this game. 
but I'm gonna make it. My hat's off. At least it's coming back to me. A very sad days among us, guys. I never, I never wanted this day to come, and didn't expect it to come so soon. But the man, the myth, the legend, Zerk. I've had him for over six years. His life expectancy of that species is only five years. So I don't know how he did it, but the day has finally come. He is no longer with us. Literally the biggest legend I've ever had in my entire fish tank is, is no longer with us. Everyone else is doing great though. And this is the first fish I've had die in a long time. And it definitely was just of old age. I mean, he was over a year of his life expectancy. It's kind of fitting that it's raining right now. It's a pretty depressing day. This fish has been through life with me. I literally, this, my start of high school is when I got this fish, my first year of high school. Like that, yeah, around there. I was a freshman when I got this fish. He's been through everything with me. And it's a super sad day. But it's, it's time to give him his proper burial. This is tough, guys. This is tough. This is tough to do. This is where he lies. I'm gonna make a proper gravestone for him. But at least we know where he is right now. He was looking really rough the past few weeks, so I thought this day was gonna come. But there's no amount of preparation I could have done for the heartache that I feel right now for this fish. Anyways, this was a very chaotic video with a lot of stuff happening. But that's just kinda of how it's been going recently. Like fishing's absolutely terrible. I'm trying to ice fish, but obviously it's not gonna freeze over when it's 55. So I'm just gonna make this shot and end the video. That's so in. Cash money buckets. Way off. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I just didn't want ice. I'm out of breath. And as always folks, fish with passion. I actually can't end this video without making it. I'm just running the GoPro because this is waterproof. I hate this game. It's kind of a pain for Joey to keep running back and forth, so I'm just gonna hand him the balls. Ah! Ah! All right, now I'm signing out. See ya. Can somebody come and save me? I just wanna know. I wanna know if I